Welcome back strategy gamers. This is Victoria 3. I am Garner and we are continuing our let's play as Spain in a bourbon for everyone achievement video. In the last episode we went to war and puppeted the Marina Kingdom who Portugal decided to side with so we took North Angola off them here and also enforced reparations upon them as we overran their homeland. Also, our colony caused fighting and the people of Fang rose up against us, which was excellent. It allowed us to quickly grab some additional land, which is important as the British have been stealing some Niger and the French are now competing in the Gambon area as well. The French have also been conquering, taking Asante here and conquering some land up here. They took some of Futo. So they got this here, Guinea off Futo, I think. So I think we will be looking at maybe taking North Cameroon, maybe Nigeria off Sokoto soon to allow us to join up Benin and Cameroon. We are building up some infrastructure in. So all of this is in Cameroon to get a, mili a local military. And the, also the plan is to get naval bases there as well soon enough so we can have a locally operating army in africa now we are colonizing out of this spot here hopefully the french are done competing with us we're colonizing inland here trying to take some congo and we were also colonizing over here and oh that might have british had a war here Ooh, there's some Portuguese here now as well. So we are we've got one little piece of land here. And then we're looking to expand across. That's on pause. Okay. There's percussion caps. So percussion caps is a massive military forward. It allows you to build munition plants, which allow you to get ammunition, which is the resource required for skirmisher infantry now i think we may look to continue to push this line and get rifling as well is some production technologies that's quite keen to get like the steel donkey now the steam donkey yeah it does improve efficiency now it's primarily in the reduce the number of workers required and we have an absolute um excess so the other thing to check here this could be useful this would improve this definitely improves output and then rubber mastication getting access to rubber would be useful so a couple of things we do need to get from a society point of view don't think we're looking to push to the threes yet from a twos oh we've several twos still to get central banking Organized sports and realism will both get us more prestige. 30 months, 30 months. Yeah, they're all from a military point of view. Yeah, everything is 30 months. I think we do need to also make a real look into... Oh, increasing our port levels would be quite useful. Oh, so many things. Let's make our military better. Oh, here we go. Here's the Sambas. Brits took something over here, did they? Anyway... If we just go for Brunei. What's my bad boy like? 40. Bit high. Let's let that come down. 500 days. Yeah, so something that's quite frustrating is my puppet here has a military. They have no need that our military cannot come and help us. Can only stay there. And it's the same with Cuba. Okay, they have a navy. What is your excuse, Cuba? Don't have the ability to... Get someone to French or Addis. Maybe I should. Have, oh, maybe I shouldn't be so afraid of my bad boy. We have an explosive shortage. We make explosives in the boom boom plant, so we shall make the boom boom plants go to the top of the queue. They add railway first. Yeah, just finish the ones that are super close to finishing. Peace Treaty, there's Sambas. Yeah, this is now British. And I've lost out on most of my 
thing. Lawmakers working towards the enactment of free trade. This still hasn't passed. Modern bureaucracy, plus 20% enactment time, minus 10, or plus 10 enactment, minus 5% bureaucracy. Oh my goodness. Just set it backwards. So I think I've just lost my colony here. Okay, there's my bit. It's in the British market, isn't it? Uh, go to... No, okay. Anyway, so is this my piece of it? Okay, so I'm still here. Tea, tobacco. Need sulfur. Uh oh, shit, the Brits have now started colonizing over here. Low market access in New Guinea. Well, it doesn't exist yet, so that's irrelevant. Diplomacy. Improve relations with Britain. Improve relations with the United States. I have Aragon, Navarro, and Valencia. So stop this. Aragon, stop this. Aragon, Valencia, Navarro. Stop it there as well. Navarro has lots of capacity. Motor industries are not portable. There's dialectics. Arms industry is struggling. Why are you struggling so much? Hardwood's quite expensive. Build a mine. Build some iron. Build some logging. And before you do all of that, build construction. Then we gotta make the move this. Time to go up it in the Niger Delta, the Marrakesh. And construction queue. Oh, we've got some events here, popular playwrights. So, countries leading playwrights strongly associated with industrial, states widely acclaimed play, Leighton, theme that makes the altars desire for the loss to be passed, plus 10%, or the industrials get plus 10%, or we gain 20 prestige. I'm going to take the prestige. We're seventh now. And the other events, partisan papers, party affiliated newspapers have proliferated uh, during the selection season. Publications associated with, with the Progressive Party are particularly effective in spreading the party line. Default results would give them plus 10% momentum, or we get plus 20% paper mills building Trufus, or they get 20% momentum. And because we have censorship and they're in government, I can give them 20% momentum instead of 10 I'm going to do that because I don't like how strong the some of the other parties are. We have become a great power. Fifth ranked power in the world. We overtook Prussia. Our GDP is 44.8 million. Our prestige is ahead of them as well. Uh, we have 22 million people under our realm. Excellent stuff. Our GDP continues to be ahead of the United States, so our GDP is the 7th of 8th. It's kind of borderline on that number. Now, our GDP per capita is reasonably low. Our standard of living is rising. It's up to 13.9, which, remember, is technically the goal of the game. We can, we can support more interests. I do want one here. Why, um... Why can't I see my interests? What on earth's going on here? So this ones I have. Oh, interest in Persia is kind of interesting. And yeah, I still want to get into the Andes. And then Arabia, I think. Or Mexico. Or Indochina. Go into here. Presumably the Brits would take a dim view of this. Okay. I don't know why it didn't shut up incorrectly. Oh, buildings. So we are now able to build. Can we build by next station? Um, we are able to build mission plants. So nowhere has a productivity bonus for this, but I think I want to do one to put somewhere that can make sulfur. So sulfur has been made in Togo and Fez and can also be made in Western Andalusia. And then we've built chemical plants in Castile and Benin. Oh no, sorry, munition plants have a different input. Sorry, it's different from explosives. It takes in... It, oh, it, it consumes explosives and lead. Potentially somewhere that has a lead. Does Valencia have the capacity? So each of these will cost four. South Cameroon has loads of workers, but presumably a qualifications issue. Qualifications issue. I might do 
advancement in some of these regions. Eastern. Oh, and I wish for them to be of the utmost importance. Out of the things that are like basically already built. Build them. Sulfur probably actually needs to be built next. It does feel like I have an iron issue. I might have a wood issue as well, but I do want these. Yeah, they're going to take a while. Eastern and Lucia. So we now are producing 87. I come to one of these places that has lots of pop. South Cameroon. Uh, abundance of unspent construction. And it's about to have military. I think I'll give it a naval base then as well. And its military is going to be modern. Everything apart from opium. Ha oh, hey. No, it's Congo. Pillager, traditionalist commander, defense strategist, meticulous. Meticulous, very good. So we are able to defend our convoys. The Niger military graded to at least this. Grade North Africa as well. Then, the, yeah, the Congo is going to be a modern military because it's, it's going to be going to war. 1,000 days, 600 days. Yeah, we can do that. Cross border. Austria and Prussia are being unfriendly to each other. Diplomatic play. Here's a civil war breaking out. Sokoto and Oyo are potentially getting involved. Gwadi is too far inland, so I will declare neutrality. Market access for New Guinea. New Guinea's not built yet. New Guinea is isolated. Yeah, New Guinea is like a thousand days away from existing, isn't it? Oh, the Dutch are trying to get in here as well. Dutch are over here. Oh, they're making no progress on this one, but 1200 days, 1900 days. There's field work. Uh, election, the moderates won again. Progressives, 23, the Patriot Party, which is a new party, presumably just the armed forces, yeah. Progressive Party is the Intelligentsia and the Party Party. And the Free Trade Party, which is just the industrialists. So I believe this is the second election now, and we've still not passed Free Trade. We have a high legitimacy because our ruler is from one of the parties that is in government. The Free Trade Party have quite a bit of clout. Now, the Patriotic Party is just the armed forces, which is fine. We are marginalizing the landowners. Could be in our interest to one of these other groups. So we have a plus 20% capitalist investment pool contribution and a minus 20% technology cost. Are we getting anything into the investment pool? No. I've seen that work for others. So I know it uh, should work. Could go for rifling, which unlocks rifles, which is a small arms production boost. Steel not productive. Then two Prussian roots are inactive. We can export fruit. We can import wood. Do it from Dutch and the Austrians. Why has our economy collapsed? Oh, presumably we're not getting uh, tariffs from the Portuguese anymore. No, we still are. So we're subsidizing the tobacco brings in. We might have to tax. Now, admittedly, we have a lot of gold reserves. We're at seven. Yeah, we can. Well, we can still take another million in there. We don't want grain. Luxury furniture. There we go. Benin, North Angola, Fez. Can't afford to incorporate you. Togo, we are incorporating. Benin, 20%, that's not too good. If I look at production of coal. Now this is trade, okay. Let's sell some. If I look at artillery, coffee. Export coal, seven. Artillery to, <laughs> not to homey. I'm gonna attack them in a second. The Russians, I think there's no import duties on this. Hmm, couldn't actually make money on that. Export engines to the Russians. Export fertilizer to the French. Okay, that increased. Export glass. Now, groceries. Iron. 
Uh, exporting would increase the cost in our market. I want to bring it down. Import iron. And export paper. Increase the cost. Bad idea. High tension. States and turmoil. Small arms. Okay. Oh, well, the French are just... French, well, actually, the French and Americans, their colors are almost identical. So I'll get this little bit here, but then they'll get this bit. And we're about to get this. How are we doing over here? Okay, we'll put this. We need to... Finally have me free trade. That has taken far too long. Two government's elections at least probably two or three episodes uh this is the i think this is the end of this episode uh, we'll discuss the impact of this free trade legislation in the next episode uh, i've been garner you've been awesome subscribe for more victoria 3 content including let's plays achievement videos but also guides and tips and tricks videos as well okay